everyone, my name is Echo and welcome to Minecraft Xbox One. Now this gameplay footage was taken from E3 2014 yesterday. Xbox streamer Roger Carpenter is the player who is currently playing. He is the lead producer for Minecraft Xbox 360 and Xbox One. Now throughout this video you are going to see a lot of things such as the achievement list, you're going to see the new render distance, you're going to be seeing skin pack 6 preview, you're also going to be seeing this new world generation, the size, the world size to be specific which you can have large, medium, small or classic which is very exciting indeed. You can decide what size you want to have. Now, Minecraft Xbox One didn't get a trailer at E3 2014, but they did stream it yesterday, which is what you can see, and I pretty much chopped it up. I was in the live stream for around about two hours, possibly three hours, which was the whole live stream, uh, and we got to talk to Notch, we got to talk to Daniel Kaplan, ask them a few questions. Now, I'm very excited about Minecraft Xbox One, but something that has been going around in the community is that the own online will only support eight players. Now, I don't know how true this is, and I'm hoping that it's not true. And when we did see the Spider-Man um, trailer, there was 10 players in that trailer, so I don't know what's going on at the moment. I'm hoping Forge Studios can clear it up. But you will notice on Minecraft, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4, it's very smooth indeed. By that I mean the rendering is very quick. It's a lot more smoother with the biomes. Instantly, things uh, chunks do load straight away, as you'll see. So he also did use my name on the live stream as a seed, which is very impressive. You will see this throughout this video. But I thought this gameplay was well worth showing because a lot of people didn't get to see the live stream yesterday. Um, I will have a link if you want to watch the three-hour footage. Nothing really impressive to go on. But basically, I would say just stick to this video because I chopped up all the best things and the things that are worth watching. Now something he's about to show you here is with the maps. Now because the worlds are 36 times bigger than Minecraft Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, you need numerous maps to go into the next part of the world, which I think is a great addition. You're gonna have to have many maps on you. You'll notice that the map he has now, he has explored from the top to the bottom, then he went right. Uh, and then after that, he will select another map. And after this, you'll notice when he does select it, in his hand, the map will be empty. So this continues. Um, the map, 36 times bigger, is gonna be great for adventuring. I have noticed the terrains are looking good. The biomes are huge, especially the extreme hill biomes. I'm liking them a lot, uh, which is gonna be good for finding emeralds. But this gameplay just gives you a sneak preview. You can upgrade in August 2014 from 360 to Xbox One and from PS3 to PS4 for $5, which is a massive, massive bonus. I'm, I'm highly looking forward to it. Like I said, uh, new Minecraft, something different to play on. Bigger worlds is definitely something I'm looking forward to. I was asking in the chat all day yesterday, is there more than one stronghold available? We had no answer at all. That, that would be a massive key for me. If these worlds are 36 times bigger, I'm hoping that it's not just one stronghold. I'm hoping that there's gonna be multiple because they're great to adventure through. Although you can only go to the end once, it would be great to just see numerous of them available. But definitely want to know what you guys personally do think about this in the comments section. But you can see on screen right now, Seed for the World Generator. He used my name, which is very impressive. Definitely a uh, big thumbs up to Roger Carpenter there. And you can see it on screen. The texture packs are there. The candy one, I believe that's a city one, the fancy one, and the uh, plastic one, was it? Or the natural one? I can't remember which one it was, but they're all there. Uh, and if you did buy the Halo Mashup pack on 360, I believe you get it free on Xbox One as well. As for the Mass Effect one, that's not going to be on there, or the Skyrim one. I believe they are tied in with contracts for the 360 platform on its own, but you can see he's having a good time. He didn't want to talk on Xbox One um, Twitch app. He just didn't talk at all, Roger Carpenter. I guess he was a little bit shy, but I'm just impressed. The render distance is something I will like a lot, uh, a lot smoother play. And because the biomes are big and there's a lot of space for this console version, when they do introduce new biomes, they're going to do that with ease. As for 360 and PlayStation 3, they may have a few issues in this terms because the worlds are very small and there's a lot of biomes that still need to be introduced. There's a lot of things that still need to be introduced. So I don't know how Footage Studios will be doing this. Just a quick update, guys. I will be continuing all platforms of Minecraft when the new additions are out. You have nothing to worry about at all. 
Uh, now at this point you can see the achievements. Finally, achievements, we have waited a very, very long time to see more achievements. Um, now the reason why I'm showing the achievements is because, well, everyone wants to see a thousand gamer score. I don't know how easy or how hard they are. He, he showed them throughout this um, throughout the video, he showed them all. He was just pretty much saying this is what you get. Now you can see skin pack six uh, on the left hand side. He did show us a preview. Now in skin pack six, guys, we seen a preview of a horse head. A horse head skin is in skin pack six. I don't know if this is a clue that horses will be introduced in the next big update. Uh, I guess only time will tell to see what they are going to introduce in Skin Pack 6. But I'm a massive Killer Instinct fan. Um, you got Jago, or Jago, however you pronounce it. You got like Saber Wolf, you got the Glacius. There's so many cool skins in this skin pack. Now, we're still waiting for more news from Forge Studios on when they will be releasing it. But they normally do announce it and then say, hey, it's out there. Go and buy it. I will be picking it up. I will be previewing it all for you all to see um, so make sure you do stay tuned but apart from that guys there really isn't too much for me to share I'm, I'm highly impressed with this um, a few things I am not impressed with is that if there is only eight players on a 36 times bigger world well that's gonna leave the community a little bit sad they did say at E3 2013 that the worlds uh, would support bigger multiplayer so I'm hoping for your studios can clear that but if you did enjoy this video and you can hit that like button please do have a great day and as always, I'll catch you next time. Bye!